Hello everyone and welcome to this NHRL Highlight Recap from our very first event outside of Norwalk, Connecticut on the Brett Zone. I'm your host, Sam Hansen, robot guru and Brett the Brick Pickler. <laughs> we had a blast out at RIT in Rochester with an excellent turnout of competitors from our three pound division. There were battery fires, massive upsets, and a huge 11 bot rumble. Let's take a look at all the crazy stuff that happened. All right, this is Rochester Rumble action. The final bot rumble against all the three pound bots in the tournament. Look at these shots, blam! Massive hits there over from the corner. And as you can see, we've got all of the bots from this event. Voxel V1, Frank, Red Panda, Serial Killer. They are all going at it, and this is already pure chaos. Googly eyes and robot parts all over the arena. Check out these beautiful hits. The bots are in great shape at this point of the night. Very impressive considering what they'd gone through the entire day. And Frank, Frank's just moving, man. He's missing an eye. He's got most of his hat coming off, but half of his drive is still working. And it looks like that weapon's still working on him. Good for Frank. Serial killer absolutely crushing it. What a cool robot. I mean, I gotta say, Kokoto Mane has improved its design just exponentially since last time we saw it. It's a real competitor now. It used to be a meme bot. Now it is a real life, just deadly machine. And you can see Brad, the house bot, just taking care of business, knocking all of the, uh, the mini bots off into the side, all the multi bot configurations out. And what is that? The battery is now hanging out the back of Serial Killer. It is on fire. Smoke is billowing out into the arena. They have stopped the fight. This is pure chaos. You could hear the official in the background there. They're saying it is time to restart this fight. And they're counting us down. And there we go. Action is restarted. And there is no movement from Serial Killer as smoke still billows out of the back of that robot. And you can see Red Panda is probably the most functional bot still left in the game, taking people apart. Possibly Sir Spinny also very functional. But everything else, everything else is in rough shape at this point. <laughs> Frank is just upside down in the corner like a dead bug. And wow, look at this. It's almost turned into a matchup between Red Panda and Sir Spinny, but with a lot of crazy hazards in this matchup. Voxel is upside down. The weapon's kind of functioning. Boom, nice shot there for Red Panda. Taking all of the threats, smashing them into the side of the arena, and still Sir Spinny fully functional and getting massive hits here on these multi-bot configurations. Nice shot, Sir Spinny. You've got to give it to Red Panda. This is a bulletproof machine just taking these bots apart. And there goes Brad just piling everything up in the corner. Red Panda is not backing down from Sir Spinny all the way up until the end of that matchup. That was beautiful. Everyone's favorite construction worker bot is back. Can Frank hold up against the much more powerful beater bar? The answer is <laughs> no. Don't look now, but Serial Killer is competitive. The former meme bot is finished in the top eight. Here they are, swallowing up the Peter Bar based Tokyo Drisk. Warhard was one of the bots favorited to win the entire event. Here is a dominant fight against the Canadian bot, Morning Shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Onomusha from builder DD made an incredible run through the bracket, including this huge split decision upset against Voxel V1. All right, so starting us off with the uh, path of Caldera, this is the round of 16. They're going up against Cupcake. Caldera is just such a devastating machine. Look at that shot. One shot rips the wheel off the side of Cupcake and, for good measure, knocks the wheel and rotor off of it and launches it across the arena. Instant tap out. Now we have Caldera taking on Serial Killer, Kokoto Amane. This is the best version of Serial Killer we have seen yet, but they are going up against an apex predator in Caldera, Glenn Boxel. Look at how he drives this machine. No big hits, just slow dismantling. First the giant googly eye, and then the two side armor packages, and slowly but surely the drive system of Serial Killer completely ripped off of this machine. And there you can see the left side wheel is gone, and now Serial Killer pretty much immobile in the corner, still able to operate that weapon, but they can't really put it to any use because... Oh, there we go, nice flip there. Because if you can't drive your control bot, you can't control the match. And there you go, you see the battery get shot across the arena with that nice shot from Caldera. All right, then later on we have the semi-final Caldera versus War Hard. Look at this hit from Warhard. Jonathan Juarez has built an absolutely bulletproof machine, but it is going to get slowly dismantled in this fight from Caldera. Glenn Boxel, just the master of death by a thousand cuts. You can see those titanium armor pieces with white sparks flying off of them, and the structure of Warhard just slowly dismembers as this fight goes on. Everything gets a little bit looser. Everything gets a little bit less put together. Caldera spends a ton of this fight on their head. Nice shot there. Beautiful. Just end over end flips across the arena from Caldera. And you can see the drivetrain on Warheart is just coming apart right in front of our eyes. The left side of it's gone. And Jonathan's now got the right side of that drivetrain kind of buried up against the corner. Not really able to use it, and there you go. He's trying to back out, but Caldera just stripping this bot to pieces. And then later on in the day, this is the path of Promheta. They'll be taking on MCB in this matchup. And you can see Promheta is just absolutely destructive. Takes out the mini bot in one shot there, rips the wheel off the side. Now MCB is a really cool bot. It's a lifter bot. It's got a very interesting... Um, armor configuration these kind of keep away sticks on the side to absorb a ton of energy but when you're going up against an absolute destructive force like prom Heta. and here you go getting that weapon up to full speed attacking it from behind you could see the fork is gone the armor package is gone and he's just ripping pieces off of it as time goes on and that right there is the end of that fight tap out So here we go, Prom Hedda versus Sir Spinny in the quarterfinal matchup. These are two of the best bots in this match today. Look at that shot there, though. Sir Spinny, no movement, and then attack on the back plate. Instant tap out. Why? Because that battery is hanging out of the back of Sir Spinny. You do not want that match to continue. So then we go into the semifinal, Prom Hedda versus Onamusha. Prom Hedda been on a tear all day, absolutely undefeated. Onamusha tries to do a box rush, but this is where you see the strategy of Onamusha really fall apart. They are going weapon first with no ground game at all. There isn't even much of a ground game on Promheta, but with that powerful weapon and those really nice low slung pontoons, they're able to get underneath Onamusha in every single one of these weapon to weapon engagements and just launch them into the air. All of the kinetic energy going the wrong direction. You can see a belt down there in the blue corner. And now Onimusha upside down, unable to self-right. Promheta trying to help him out with that, but you can see that wheel is gone on Onimusha and their complete mobility lost at that point in the fight. This is the final, Promheta versus Caldera. 
These two bots have been undefeated all day. Absolute destructive machines. Prom Hedda getting the best of their first engagement there. Caldera not really able to get up to full speed before it gets in on these hits just because of the fantastic driving of Zack Knight and Prom Hedda. And now the weapon not up and functioning on Caldera at this point in the matchup. You can see Glenn trying to get it moving. But that weapon on Prom Hedda is working beautifully. Taking all of these shots and getting these perfect engagements every single time. This is not a great point in the fight for uh, Caldera. And you can see Glenn Boxel doing a phenomenal job of trying to control the matchup and keeping that weapon pointed towards Prom Hedda. But as long as everything's functioning on Prom Hedda, it is a very difficult fight for Glenn Boxel to win. There is no reason to tap out. There is no reason to call it at this point, though, because anything could happen. I mean, there could be an electronic failure inside of Prom Hedda at any point. Oh, look at that. And then that percussive maintenance has got the weapon back up and functioning on Caldera. Not exactly sure what happened there, but it is going back in hit after hit. Trying to get some of those points that it lost in those last minute without a weapon. Beautiful weapon to weapon engagement goes Caldera's way, but the weapon on Caldera is now gone and everything is still functioning at Prom Hedda. And the weapon's back on Caldera now. It is going back and forth between working and not working. Some sort of intermittent issue going on inside of Caldera probably. Nice shot there from Prom Hedda just launching Caldera across the arena. But that weapon on Caldera bulletproof after that engagement. Can Glenn get the better of these last shots throughout the matchup? At this point, both of these bots completely unkillable. But that weapon on Prom Hedda is absolutely unstoppable. I don't even hear it slowing down after these hits. You can see some of the armor from the side of uh, Caldera is just missing. And Zack Knight showing that he is not messing around. Prom Hedda is still a threat in every weight class. Nice shots there from Prom Hedda, knocking Galdera straight up into the air. End over end hits. Wow, nice control bot movements there from Caldera, and Caldera up to full speed, but dissipates a lot of that energy off the wall before that hit. Both of these bots not really driving at full speed and full capacity now, and that is the end of this matchup. This goes to a judge's decision. The winner is Caldera. Well, there you have it, folks. Glenn Boxel and Caldera take their very first Golden Dumpster win with a judge's decision over Zack Knight and Prom Frida. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>